In this video I will show you how to install FPS Boost in GTA 5. We will be able to increase FPS in GTA 5 using FSR technology. It is completely free and works as an alternative to DLSS in GTA 5. I play GTA 5 with realistic graphics and it requires a lot of performance. After installing realistic graphics, I had no more than 30 frames per second in GTA 5. But with the help of FSR, I managed to increase the performance in GTA 5 to 40 frames per second. This method does not affect the image quality, because it does not change the graphics settings. I will show you two installation methods. For those who play without realistic graphics and for those who play with realistic graphics if ENB is installed in the game. The first way is very simple. If you play without graphical mods and without ENB, then you just need to download FSR from the official site. Next, you need to open the FSR archive and copy all the files to the GTA 5 game folder. After that, you can start the GTA 5 game. After starting the game, you need to enable FSR, because if we do not turn it on, then the number of FPS will not change. To enable FSR, you need to go to the game settings and select advanced setting. Next you need to go to the frame scaling mode setting, and here you can enable FSR. To do this, simply select one of the FSR modes that suits you. You see a list of all modes on the screen. I will turn on the most productive mode, performance mode. Let's see how much FPS will increase. After turning on performance mode, almost 50 frames per second was added to the game. This is very good, so FSR is working. You can also try enabling other FSR modes. I like quality mode because it doesn't degrade the image. Quality mode adds about 25 frames per second. It seems to me that this is the best mode for those who want to play with the best image quality and add FPS to the game. The second way to install FSR in GTA 5, if you have ENB installed in the game and realistic graphics. In order for FSR to work with ENB, we first need to go into the game folder and rename the d3d11.dll file. You need to add an underscore and ENB. Next, open the downloaded FSR archive and copy all the files from the archive to the GTA 5 game folder. After that, you need to open the copied GTA 5 FSR file using Notepad. Where the proxy is located, you need to put the word true. This must be done in two rows. In the last row you need to write the name of the file, d3d11-enb.dll. After that, we save the FSR configuration file in GTA 5. The installation is completed, you can start the game. After starting the game, we need to enable FSR, because if we do not enable it, then it will not work. To enable FSR, you need to go to the game settings and select advanced setting. Next you need to go to the frame scaling mode setting, and here you can enable FSR. To do this, simply select one of the FSR modes that suits you. You see a list of all modes on the screen. There are four different modes, from the most productive to the highest quality. I like the medium mode the most, it makes the game better and increases FPS by 15 to 20 units. But you can use other modes that will increase FPS in GTA 5 much better. That's all, if you like the video, then subscribe to the channel and like it. Thank you all for watching.